It's my birthday. Welcome back to my YouTube channel after a very very long time. I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry, but today it's my birthday ah! I'm so excited. Okay, so today's video is Kind of like a random one. So I was sitting down thinking and reflecting on you know all the years of my life and all of that I'm like, I think I just want to come on here and give you guys some lessons that I've learned so far so yeah, I'll be doing that in no particular order. I will just have a chit chat. Initially, I wanted to do makeup for day, and I'm like, I already look good without makeup. Should I or should I not do makeup? I'm actually still trying to decide. But if it, if I end up doing makeup, that means I don't even know. To be honest, I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to do a minimalist type of makeup. But honestly, I really don't know. I'm just here to like talk about everything that i thought of and i hope you guys learn lessons from them because these are lessons that i've learned so far so i don't have a particular number of lessons i'm just gonna keep speaking at random and when i'm tired we're done with this video make sure to say a prayer for me in the comments i would really really appreciate that i'm so happy <laughs> like if i literally see the office i'm so happy and leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and yeah enjoy the rest of the video yeah so my first first lesson and it's one of the most important for me is have a good relationship with god i don't know if i have emphasized this enough i grew up in a christian home so i feel for a very long time christianity what i knew it to be was based off what i was seeing around me right you go to church you have bible school and all of that but i feel like i didn't really know god for myself for a very long time where they have a good relationship with him where it's like oh i can talk to him right there and then you know just that relieving feeling where it's like okay dear god this is me again i'm vulnerable and open and i'm having a conversation with him and him listening to me and advising me and talking to just you know having an intimate relationship with him as a friend i feel like that's one of the most important things i learned not like i just learned it today right but i feel like in my journey
of people out there that really don't know um, things the way you do or that know more than you or people that you should be learning from but because you're so close-minded you're not like open to learning from them or sometimes let's say because you're not humble because I think it goes hand in hand for someone who isn't teachable it's more like oh you think you know everything you don't want to accept corrections you don't want to learn from others and all and even the Bible says you should be humble so why would you even do that so I don't get the idea of not being teachable for me personal development is a major 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 thing for me and I just feel like you need to have a teachable spirit and be open to learning consume as much information as you can but make sure that what you're consuming you still have your way around it because to be honest there's a lot of rubbish on the internet right make sure that whatever it is you're learning is not against what you believe in your values and you know just make sure that you're smart and you have wisdom and knowledge to be able to take it through life because this life is difficult you need wisdom you need knowledge and be able to learn it from people around you from every single thing you can learn like just love the idea of learning it's amazing man. you need to be teachable so number four for me will be always be intentional about life <laughs> like live your life to the fullest man <laughs> please live your life to the fullest like the money will come back i think it will i know you will <laughs> so for me i'm just like sarah be intentional about your life intentional about making memories be adventurous live your life to the fullest make sure the core areas of your life which is your family your love life your relationships your friends your relationship God, just be intentional about that aspect of your life and live your life to the fullest. Like you only have one life to live, trust me. Just make sure that what you're doing is in line with God, your faith, your values, and men, make as much memories as you can because one day we're all gonna die, right? We're all gonna die, and just make sure that you enjoy your stay on earth that's it for me like be intentional about everything every single thing don't leave things to chance just be intentional about it and create your dream life closely aligned with that i would say my next point is there's no anxiety no number of anxiety that can change the future so for someone like me who worries a lot that's something that God has helped me and you deal with anxiety and worry a lot so for if you're that kind of person you know that you overthink everything you're trying to like plan over plan your life trying to put two or two together and sometimes you can you can't figure it all out yeah sometimes this anxiety can stop you from really doing things and it can just like kill your happiness and all so most times when i find myself like being anxious about stuff i'm like thank god for the bible which says that we should cast all our cares on him and you know just let him take control and handle everything so for me that's what i hold on to i'm like okay i know the plans that god has for me are for good and not for evil so why am i anxious why am i not letting him just do his thing why am i worrying and trying to like take control of the, of the whole situation i've just realized that i really can't do anything by worrying and i have like i had to do like a how do i put it like a playlist more like a bible verse yeah so whenever i catch myself being anxious i'll go back and look at these verses that remind me that by worrying i can't do anything by worrying i can't solve the problem by worrying i can't change the future and i think that for me is very helpful if you're someone who struggles with that i would advise you to do that just find scriptures that have to do with um, anxiety that have to do with 
so i always 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 try to have a grateful heart so my next lesson i've learned so far is you need to be disciplined and you need to have self-control like you need it <laughs> trust me you need a girl so discipline you need it in every area of your life you need it in the workspace in just everything like you just need to have discipline like why wouldn't you have discipline like why especially if you're someone who has a lot to do like in terms of oh you want to be great you want to achieve a lot of things you just need to have discipline you need to be a disciplined person and you need to have self-control because sometimes it's gonna play out like there are just certain situations or compromised situations where your self-control would have to show its face and you have to like really control yourself i don't know if i'm making sense but the whole idea is be a disciplined person next lesson would be comparison is the thief of joy sarah please tell your younger self to not compare herself to anybody like a lot of people have different problems trust me the person you're comparing yourself with has a whole lot of problems if they tell you all they are going through you would definitely not want to be them like you really don't want to be in their position so don't compare yourself with anybody trust your own journey focus on yourself um do what you need to do be disciplined be you know intentional about life be consistent just do you and not compare yourself to anybody when it's your time it's your time no one can take that away from you okay another lesson that i've learned so far in life is you don't have anything if you don't have peace and happiness like this is so underrated i don't even know like hey, if it's gonna cost my happiness if it's gonna cost my peace of mind i don't need it like i really don't need it i think i've gotten to that point where my mental health is so important to me like really really important to me and anything that doesn't 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 please me in terms of oh doesn't make me happy doesn't let me have peace it's just not worth it like if it's gonna cost your happiness please let it go please please let it go i think you should not i think you should stop compromising you should stop um displeasing yourself just to please others even when you're not happy with whatever it is that you're doing like why would you even do that why it's a, it's a no no right um yeah so that would be my i think that should be number eight or number nine i've lost count <laughs> action speaks louder than words they do like oh my god i'm tired of hearing people give empty promises and not following through and a lot of it has to do with even like um you know love relationship friendships and all of that like i'm just not a believer of empty words if your actions don't align shall i oh benny packwell like <laughs> Please don't come near me with that empty talk. Actions always speak louder than words. You can't be telling me you love me and then you're you're doing trash. That's rubbish. I mean rubbish. <laughs> Real rubbish. Get out of my sight. Like actions speak louder than words and you need to hold on to that. Let your action align with your words. For me that's a you know it's like a non-negotiable word I'm analyzing people. Don't make empty promises. That annoys the hell out of me. Please don't do that. Okay, I can't speak louder than one. Um, it's okay to have sad days. Like it's really, really okay to have sad days. But in the end, don't give up. Like Sarah, don't give up. I'm, I'm sp- saying this like I'm speaking to myself. Either way, they're just um things that I think I would have told my younger self. Yeah. So um, it's okay to have sad days. Right? Cry as much as you can. Like cry, cry. I'm not gonna say don't cry, but in the end, just make sure that. You still pick yourself back up clean your tears and focus on the bigger picture focus on the goal and the things that you can achieve because in the end you're gonna you're gonna be better <laughs> like you're gonna 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 be better you just need to constantly strive for the greater thing ahead man you can't just let it weigh you down right you can be sad you can have bad moments but just don't let it weigh you down still pick yourself up man move but this is an important one money like i mean money is very important like so you don't let anybody tell you anything you need to love money or anything money is very important like you need it for everything everything
say don't lose yourself while trying to make the money right make sure that your values are still intact and you don't go overboard or lose yourself that's the main thing don't lose yourself while trying to make money at all um, money is important right you need to be intentional about how you make the money and make sure that your values are still in place in the whole process for me i would say making money is an action right keeping money is a behavior and growing money <laughs> that's knowledge right there like i just feel like in terms of finances in terms of understanding money man you need to be intentional about having uh, oh wow what in this contour you need to be intentional about having financial intelligence if you want to have money then you need to know how to deal with money you need to know how to keep money you need to know how to make money you need to know how to grow money and all this is knowledge right you can't be making money and not know how to save the money. You can't be making money and not know how to, you know, multiply, duplicate it and all. Money is very important. So you don't just have to figure out ways to just pick the money. You need to figure out how to keep it and how to keep growing it. So, see, I don't know who is telling you that money is not important, but Sarah, money is very, very, very important. Like, very important. Next lesson I've learned so far is to be careful about who you're opening up to. <laughs> you need to be careful about who you're opening up to because some of these people are witches. <laughs> witches straight out of hell, man. You need to be very, very protective of who you're vulnerable around. Make sure it's someone that you trust. Make sure, you know, just make sure that you're sure of whoever it is that you're opening up to because some people are just they're not necessarily to know what you're going through or to help you out with your situation they're just there for amiable like when i say amiable amiable <laughs> that's what they're there for so be very very careful about who you're vulnerable with be very careful about who you let into your space let into your corner because in the end they can use this against you and it can be damaging this pain is temporary right i'm not saying it's not gonna hurt but with time it gets let's say a little bit easier right it gets a little bit easier and i would say this particular point specifically for when i lost my dad that was one of the most difficult times i've had to face and i thought i wasn't going to like move on i thought i wasn't going to ever you know be able to like be happy and all of that but at the same time we kill you right you're not gonna forget there are days when you would all come back and you would be so sad and your daddy's girl and things are difficult you're having issues here and there those days will come right but it's gonna get easy that's all i have to say it's gonna get easy you'll get easier you'll figure this life thing alone all your fears all the Your self worth has to be stronger than your desire to be loved, sis. It has to be, please. Like, it has to be. <laughs> I don't know how to, like, I think it's very straightforward. Your self worth has to be, because if it is not, eh, you're gonna be taking rubbish. Like, you're gonna be accepting rubbish from this Adams <laughs> outside. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Is it just me or I don't know how it looks on camera? But over here I'm looking like a little bit darker than I am normally. So I'm going to see how I can adjust that. I would use powder instead of cream product because to be honest, I'm trying to go for a very, very, very minimalist vibe. You know, I didn't plan on doing this makeup at all, so minimalist all the way okay so um yeah um you need to make sure that your self-worth is in the moon <laughs> like it needs to be way 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 above you wanting to be loved because if it is not you're going to be accepting rubbish from some of these men out there you're going to be tolerating nonsense all in the name of you don't know yourself were all in the name of oh you're trying to please them all in the name of you want someone who would love you and these men out there they're mean you don't want to do that you don't want someone to have that much
much control over your life right so you need to be overly overly protective of that because i think um, for you to even know yourself what it has a lot to do with your level of self-awareness the more aware you are of who you are the more aware you are of yourself the I don't know the higher yourself what is it just know that okay this is what i can tolerate this is what i cannot tolerate this is what i can deal with this is what i cannot deal with i don't care what anybody has to say i don't care what your own standard is but i'm not accepting this crap so your self-worth needs to be needs to be here like needs to be here so you won't be tolerating nonsense so my next point will be you're going to be okay in the end like you're going to be okay in the end there were things that I went through that I thought I would not come out of. <laughs> but here I am making this video all excited on my birthday. And guys, <laughs> trust me, you'll be okay. At the time, it would look like your world is crumbling. It would look like everything is against you. It would look like God doesn't love you. <laughs> but in the end, it all happens for a reason and you'll get out of it like you're really going to get out of it it's all going to be okay in the end i don't know why these points are closely aligned but my next point will be the hardest part is not letting go right the hardest part is learning to start afresh <laughs> that is the hardest part like starting over i don't think you like that part it's gonna be the hardest part but in the end you have to let go you have to move on you have to find strength and let it all out let it go and focus on what is ahead that's my lesson that i've learned you'll be okay you're gonna be okay um always strive to be a person of value you need to be a person of that you're you're not an empty vessel make sure that you have content make sure that you're constantly developing yourself adding value to not just yourself also to the lives of people around you don't have to be perfect right just make sure that by the way you're living your life people are inspired by the way you're living your life people are drawing strength people are you know finding reasons to want to be better people i think for me that's it's a big lesson always add to yourself always make sure that you're growing always make sure that you're adding value to yourself that's it's a big deal right it's a big deal you don't want to be an empty vessel please you don't want to be an empty vessel you want to be the proverbs 31 woman cheers to that yeah now to my next point your family is one of the most important things you have in life they're gonna annoy you the most trust me they're gonna annoy you a lot of times you'll be misunderstood right but still hold on to them because in the end when everybody turns their backs against you your family will still be your family like your family would still be your family so you need to hold them tight you need to not let them go um i know that when you're growing up when you're times when you're having difficulties sometimes you just want to go away far away and all of that but trust me this family that you've got no matter how annoying they are no matter how frustrating they can be your family is a family you're gonna need them you need to hold them make sure that you create memories make sure that you document those memories i really wish i did this before my dad died because i don't have a picture with him or no i should yeah i think the family picture but i don't think i have enough to take me through life <laughs> i don't know right so just document as much as you can right um create the memories be intentional about living with them um just be present and have a good time because your family will always be your family they'll always be your family they are very important when others leave you and annoy the hell out of you the family will be there they will be there to save you okay so my 
the next lesson I've learned in life is um, if you choose someone right you have to accept them for who they are and not try to change them right accept them for who they are I don't I don't agree with the philosophy that you can change a man I would say a man does in context of um, love relationship and all I feel like it's their personal decision to change because I feel I what I see a lot of girls doing is trying to like change their partners and all and I'm like if he's gonna change he's gonna change on his own not you like forcing him to change or imposing it on him so before you get into anything you have to be like okay these are the weaknesses of this person these are the strengths of this person and with that I have chosen to accept them if they change or if they do not change and that's it um, I think I'm going to quickly rush this because I don't have enough space so yeah and I'll come back and spill some more okay bye okay so um, my next lesson the next lesson that I've learned is to talk less listen more but the sanguine in me would always show itself so um, I feel like there are a lot of things that people say but unless you listen you may not really get it I just feel like you need to listen a lot to what people say like when someone is speaking to you when someone is talking to you you need to listen <laughs> like I think a lot of people don't listen to understand they just listen to respond and that's that's wrong like make sure that you listen whenever it is that you're having conversations right um, another lesson that I've learned is to always trust my gut feeling like always trust your gut feeling i'm so glad that i started learning how to you know hear from god listen to god know when he's speaking to you and sometimes that would come off as your gut feeling sarah if it doesn't feel right it's not right don't do it <laughs> if your gut feelings is saying if it doesn't sit well with you if you're not as at peace like just trust your gut feeling that's one major way in which you hear from god lesson for me is don't be scared to make mistakes the perfectionist in me is screaming like please don't be scared to make mistakes right you're gonna make mistakes and some of those mistakes are lessons lessons that would help you in life so um Whenever it is you make a mistake, I think you should just ask yourself, okay, what did I learn from this? What is this here to teach me? And you move on from there. Like, um, I always eat myself up whenever I make mistakes. Oh, oh my God, I love this mascara. I think this is what I'm gonna show you guys. I do not have a lot of lashes, so this mascara yeah, was my life. Okay, so um, yeah like i was saying um always learn from your mistakes right you're going to make a lot of mistakes some of them were very important for your growth some of them were there to just teach you lessons right and when you make a mistake make sure that you don't give up at that point you still attempt to move forward right because there were times when i would not want to try something else i would want to just um stay back but I realized that some of those lessons, years down the line, they helped me, right? Because I had been in a similar position, I didn't make that same mistake again, right? Yeah, so that would be one lesson that I've learned so far. Okay, so another um, lesson for me would be, you know, try to learn new good habits and drop off the bad ones. Right? There's some um, habits that would cost you, right? You have to, you have to drop them, right? Drop the bad habits and pick up new ones. Some things you probably had them while we were growing up, and you know that if you keep up with these habits, you're gonna be doomed. Like you're gonna gonna be doomed. So I would say, um, yeah, there are just some habits that you have to stop. You have to let go of, and you have to intentional about learning new ones especially as an adult it can be difficult but if you're disciplined and intentional and consistent with it you'll be able to learn yeah another lesson that I've learned so far is also to constantly constantly develop myself read as much books listen to 
what you consume, take what you need, and drop off the ones that you know don't sit well with you, right? Um, yeah, I think that for me is a major, major habit. <laughs> I think that I put that with the habit one because um, I had to learn how to read books, I had to learn how to listen to sermons, I had to learn how to listen to podcasts. It was something that I had to be intentional about. I'm like, okay, what can I do? I have to, I had to replace my music with, with sermons, with um, podcasts. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Trust me, it's a lot of work. It takes what again? Discipline. Yeah, you need to have that um, discipline, right? Um, yeah. So I think I would quickly wrap up my makeup and then come off with the last tip. Because I have-